Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Chazza here today and um, I'm doing a career mode, a West Bromwich Albion career mode I'm going to try and get them to glory which previous managers haven't done but maybe Tony Pulis might but we're here today as you can see we're just getting it ready just writing in the name and yeah, so really we want to get into Europe but yeah and obviously well mid-table first year, maybe Europe second year but we'll see, as it says West Brom appoint Chazza as the new man boss. Sanchez has gone to Arsenal for 35.5 million. And yeah, we kick it off. So here we go, here's the objectives. It's to reach the round of 16. We've got some important information here, which I'm not going to read. You guys have all seen this before. Apparently, we need to get a centre back, so I'm going to get a centre back as well, which we do need to be fair. We've got a scout. Just introducing himself and our league objective from the board is to finish mid-table I think we can do that comfortably I'm gonna be playing on world class this series see how it goes if it's too easy I'll go to legendary but as you can see our transfer budget is 10 million it's a decent amount but we could ask for a bit more but what can you do as you can see here we're just looking through the squad picking my favorite formation in the game it's 4 5 1 I like that best. You've got wingers, you've got attackers, you've got that central midfielder that can cause a spark. But yeah. Anyway, so I'm just sorting the team out now, as you can see. Who I think might fit in the first team, who might not. It's a bit it's gone a bit quick for you guys, so you don't have to watch all this rubbish. This video is actually about it's basically a, just the videos getting my squad, getting players into the squad. But the next video has got gameplay in, so make sure you stay tuned for tomorrow with that gameplay in. So it'll be it'll be released at the same time. As you can see, just just quickly seeing who can play in the right positions, who can do what. We, I don't really like Chris Brunt to be honest. He should be going. I want to get rid of him. We need a bit more pace. Actually, that's what Tony Pius actually said. Because I'm a West Brom Javin fan myself. He actually did say, well, we need some attacking midfielders, and that's what he brought in McManaman. He's been a bit injured recently, but we can do something there. With Fletcher as well, he's um he's only just came into the club, but I can't see him getting into the game with Jakob and Malumbu in that midfield. Might look to strengthen in that area. Also the defence obviously. But yeah, we're just gonna have to go and wait and see. Also I do need a backup striker because Anichabi doesn't fit into my plans. Well here we can see that we're just doing the uh, instructions on the players. I tend to just put, make sure my left and right fullbacks have just got that overlapping, always overlapping. It's good to have that extra man coming in and just overlapping. It just helps when you're on the attack, really. And the, the defensive midfielders just stay fully defensive and the attackers just stay up top with the striker, Ade Brown, as the main focus target man. Yeah. So I, I don't really expect the front three in front behind the striker to come back I don't really mind that I can defend better I, I probably can defend actually all right but here you can see we're going into trying to sell some players some dead wood in the team like McCauley's 34 aging you got Olsen 31 aging can get a bit of money for these guys now even Fletcher apparently I can still sell him even though he's just joined but we're getting him out like I said, Chris Brunt, he can be a good backup, but he's out of the game now. Put him on a transfer list. And Chris Bird, I don't even like him in real life, to be honest. I've just whacked him on loan because I can't get rid of him. But yeah, we just look through some youngsters as well now here. And we just I'm just looking through like their stats and whatever. But and I'm, I think I did put a few youngsters on the loan for loans. For full season loans, yeah. We should, it should come up to that. I'm just looking through how many players I've got in each position so I can see what I can do. And you can see I do put I, I do come back to Green Ridge at the end and do put him on a loan, yeah. Also, I think I do put a centre back on loan later on. And after that, yep. Just putting a few youngsters on loan, get some experience. I might not even use them in the end to be honest. I did put an each on the transfer list as well. Doesn't really fit my needs as a striker. He needs to have pace. A bit powerful. I know an each is powerful, but he needs to focus on a lot more pace. 
So yeah, that's the team, and we're just going to advance. And here we go, we're going to search for our players. I'm looking more of a winger, who knows the Premier League, who everyone knows. It's no other than Balassi. He's pace, he's got pace, he's powerful. I think he's got five star skills and a four star weak foot, something like that on one or the other. But yeah, we're going to go in for a bid with Brunt, 3.2 million bid with Brunt, see if we can get him. And we are also going in for a bid for a QPR winger who Albion are actually interested in is Matty Wheat. Matty, sorry, Matty Phillips. Is it in? But yeah, Phillips is in. We're going to try and get him. Hopefully we can get him on a steal. But we've just scouted him for now. We'll come back to him later. We've also gone to Swansea and we found Neil Taylor. He has been linked with the Albion recently, actually. Actually, in, in, uh, in January, he was linked with us. Maybe we can pick him up, make it more realistic. But for now we're scouting him. Now we're moving on. Just I'm just keeping keep looking at the squad, see what I need, where I can go. And I thought, who else than the league champions now? Chelsea. They've got some good youth. We do need a centre back, but I know Aki's a left back there, but he can play a centre back. Also Kirk Zuma. Palace come back and say no we want more money for him ok I think ok that's a lot of money for him and that's pretty much my budget so I thought ok we'll round it up 5 million plus Brent that's fair enough I thought yeah they'll accept that definitely 100% definitely accept that you get an offer from Vera, Verena and if it all I'm thinking that's an alright offer but maybe you can push him a bit more 3.5 million counter offer maybe Palace again, unacceptable, we want 7 million. Then I thought, no, it's not really worth it. So I thought I'll hand back on him. They come back with a 3 million bid. I think, accept that. 31, 76 rated, we want a better player in there. That offer went through perfectly. And then we got a squad report back for each of the four players. Matty Phillips, 72 rated, 2 million, 20,000 pound wage. That's, that's pretty much brilliant for us. We try and put a bid in for 2 million and maybe get a player. I did in the end go for O'Sullivan in this deal. Just to sweeten it, maybe they'll accept it first time. We'll see. With Aki, 67 rated, 19. That's brilliant stats for him to be fair for a 19 year old. Trying to get his base value, see if we can pick him up. Also, got, we did. I think we did put a bid in for Neil Taylor, even though I was looking, and we don't really need the guy. We've got two, no, we've got three left backs, and they're, they're perfectly fine. I think we can do all right in that area. We do put a 1.3 million bid in for him. Maybe we'll see what happens there. Kurt Zuma. I know this is a hard guy to get. I thought, why don't we get rid of some dead wood? Give it to Chelsea. 1.9 million and Macaulay. See how that goes. Then we also go into the office, get rid of the, get rid of all the emails, simulate on, and then as you can see, it's just reject, reject, unacceptable. I thought, you know, let's sweeten the deal a bit. Let's go 2.6 for Phillips. Chelsea rejected Aki. I knew, I knew they would. It's a bit low, so I thought, okay, let's go straight in for around a nine, for seven hundred thousand. Yeah, seven hundred thousand bid. See if they get that. Never know. And then I thought, nah, Neil Taylor is not worth it. We haven't got much of a big transfer budget. I was thinking, shall I get rid of uh, Garmiston? But he's got, a, he's got a lot of pace, that young kid has. So he'll be around a third choice. So I thought, nah, I'll leave him for now. Maybe later on in the career mode. But then I looked at Kurt Zuma and I thought I had to get him. 2.5 million McCauley. If I can steal him for that, I can't see it happening. But surely, keep our comeback again. Unacceptable. So I'll go 3 million then. With O'Sullivan, give me in. Then Ch Chelsea again rejected Aki. Couldn't believe that. So 1 million. Maybe. Can we get him? And then I thought Kurt Z, but okay, we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna have to offer a decent amount. 3 million plus McCauley, maybe. Got an offer for one of our youngsters. Gone out on loan. See you next year. We also it's unacceptable again for the two Chelsea players. So we just boost it up for what Chelsea want for Aki, 1.5, you can't go wrong with him, £10,000 a week, can't go wrong. 
Kurt Zuma, he's ever looking at around 9, 5 to 9. We went 4.5, see if that could do it. Pupil have actually accepted the offer, so that's brilliant for us. We can get his contract done, get him in. But you're going to have to find out till next episode if, you, if we get in. Please like and subscribe and peace.